Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily and today I'm going to be showing you how I clean my white couch. So this is an Ikea Ektorp couch, or however you might say that, um, and it is a slipcover couch, which means you can take the covers off all the cushions and the cover off the couch itself and you can take them off and you can wash them. Uh, and that's the reason that we were willing to get this couch in the first place. So when we were looking for couches, we actually wanted a gray sectional, a light gray sectional, and we couldn't find one anywhere. Now, I think it'd be much easier to find today, but at the time we couldn't find one. So I kept seeing pictures of people with this couch and um, I kept seeing people have it in white. And I kind of thought the same thing that I know everybody says about me is why do they have a white couch? That's crazy. But through research, I found that a lot of people have this couch and they have it in white because they can take the covers off and clean it. So um, it's really easy. A lot, some people do bleach theirs. I've never bleached mine. So I'll show you how I clean it instead. But um, I'd like to say that I do this like very routinely, like every two months, but I basically just do it when I think the couch needs it, when it looks a little dirty, or if like we're having a big event with people at our house, I might do it before. Um, but maybe I should get more regular about doing it like every other month, but um, it's super easy to do, but it does take a little bit of time. So that's why I don't do it um, more often than I need to. Um, so I'm going to show you the whole process, how simple it is, and how easy it is to keep these in tip top shape. Now we have had this couch for I think four years and we have replaced the slip cover once and that was totally worth it. The new slip cover I think is $150. So for $150 we were able to replace the whole cover and basically make it like a new couch and we're totally comfortable with doing that every couple years um, instead of having like a microfiber couch that you can't clean um, and that once it's stained it's kind of like ruined or you have to have it professionally cleaned. Um, so that's what's really nice about this over like a microfiber couch is that you can clean it anytime it needs to. You can spot clean. If something happened to one cushion, you could take it off um, and throw it in the wash immediately. So let's get started on washing this couch. The first thing I like to do before I clean the cushions is to vacuum off any hair or dirt. Um, that way that they wash a little bit easier. So I'm going to quickly vacuum the whole couch. After everything is vacuumed off, I'm just going to quickly remove all of the cushion covers. Um, I like to do those separately from the actual couch cover, so I'm going to do those first. Now this is the part that I probably do a little bit differently than other people. I take the covers up to my bathtub and I soak them. I pre-soak them before I wash them. So I am throwing all the covers into my bathtub. Um, I do half and half just so they fit better. Um, you can see how dirty they are. So this is like a good example of how dirty they are and then you'll see at the end how clean they get. So I just run the water as hot as possible and then I'm going to add in a scoop or a scoop and a half of OxyClean and let them soak for a couple of hours. Okay, this is a little gross, but I feel like it's important to share. Look at how dirty the water is, and you can still see they still look a little bit dirty, and I know that that is gross, but if you have a regular like microfiber couch, all of this is not being washed off, and it's just sitting on your couch. So um, it's just something to keep in mind that at least this way you can wash it off. 
So once they've sat in there for a couple of hours, I wring them out and I just carry them downstairs in this plastic tub since my bathtub's upstairs and my washer's downstairs and now I'm gonna get ready to wash them. Once the wash cycle is over, I do throw the covers into the dryer only for about 10 to 15 minutes um, just to get the little bit of the water out, but I do not dry them in there entirely so that they don't shrink. And then once I take them out of the dryer after 10 to 15 minutes, I lay them all out to dry overnight um, to air dry, or you can put them on the cushions and let the cushions dry overnight air dry. So at this point, I did plan to include a quick clip of me putting the cushion covers back on the couch, but my husband was so sweet and saw them sitting there, so he went ahead and put them back on for me. So now I'm just going to show you some um, views of the couch now that they're clean. They came so clean. I will be perfectly honest. I thought that this was the last time we were going to be able to wash them and that it was going to be time to replace the cover because... Like you saw when I put them in the bathtub, some of them were brown. Um, but you can see now they came out so clean. Even I haven't washed the cover that goes over the back of the couch, and you can even tell the difference. Um, even the cushion covers are wider than that. Um, and you can see it up against like some of the cream colored pillows and stuff. Um, they came so clean. I am so happy. So we don't have to replace the cover quite yet. And like I mentioned, I basically do this every couple months whenever I think it looks a little dingy and dirty or whenever I think it needs it. But if you are considering getting a slip cover couch similar to this one, or you already have one, I hope this is super helpful in helping you figure out how to clean it, pre-soak those stains to get them out, and then wash it again and get them super clean so that you can have beautiful neutral color palette slip cover couches and still keep them clean. Again, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and to find me on Instagram at The Burn Bungalow, and I will see you next time.